everybody. Nice to see you all. Um, we're here on a very active construction site and uh, for a groundbreaking ceremony. So we're uh, going to get started. Uh, I'm John Mangerati, your town manager. Nice to see many of you here. Uh, try to do your best to social distance. Uh, we're outside, we're masked, so that really helps. But uh, don't fall in the hole in the process of social distancing. But um, thanks for your cooperation. Uh, we, you know, we normally would invite the public and have a big, big ceremony, but under the circumstances, uh, you're all special invitees. So thanks for coming. Um, so this is the groundbreaking for the new North Acton Fire Station. We're here at 68 Harris Street. If you drove by a month ago, you would have seen an old state fishery and wildlife building. And now here we are. So uh, the team's got started right away. Uh, our, our members of our Board of Selectmen are here. John Benson, Dean Charter, David Martin, Joan Gardner, Jim Snyder Grant. Uh, we have our state, state delegation here, Senator Eldridge, Representative Govea, Representative Cena. We have former fire chief. We have lots of fire department members. We have a great uh, cross section of the community all here. So thank you all for, for coming. Um, I, I'm gonna just gonna get started. I'll be the MC, and we have some uh, all-star guests uh, to do this, most of the speaking today. Uh, but I wanted to just quickly introduce the project team. Um, this, the contractor for this project is Hutter Construction. Uh, Lars and uh, his team are here today, and they'll be on site for the next 14 months. Uh, we have KBA Architects. Uh, we have Kevin Witzel, Todd Costa, David McKinley, and others uh, who've, who've been helping design this project. We have PMA, who is our project manager, Brian DeFilippis, Cody Gibbs, Kevin and Steve. Uh, they're helping us keep the contractor and the architect working well together. So it's working out uh, really well so far. And with everything we do here in Acton, we have an internal working group made up of multiple, multiple interdepartmental team members. Uh, and for this project, we have Andrea Ristine, Mark Hald, Chief Hart, Deputy Chief Vanderhoof, Teresa O'Leary, and Dean Charter. That we, we, we meet weekly with the project team to go through things that are happening and make sure it's going on track. So uh, as you can see in the picture, uh, this is gonna be a modern fire station. It'll be a big help to our community. It'll help keep our fire department staff safe. Um, this is very exciting to get started here today. This project was approved at the December uh, 10th special town meeting, uh, 2019, overwhelmingly by the voters. Uh, and because we had to do a debt exclusion, it also was uh, sent to the ballot. And on December 17th, 2019, it was uh, heavily supported by the community. So the community got behind this project and we're really excited to be here now. Uh, in addition to the necessary improvements that you'd see in a modern station, uh, like reg properly sized apparatus bays and uh, gear storage and decontamination facilities. There's a lot of exciting things that are happening with this project uh, due to the support from the community. We're doing solar on the roof. Uh, we're doing geothermal in the ground. Uh, we're not connecting it to natural gas, which is a community priority. And we're pleased to be able to meet that uh, priority here. Um, and along with the construction of the station, we're also gonna be building a sidewalk on Harris Street which is a community need that came up during the discussions about the fire station. So we're excited to be working on that in parallel. So uh, to talk more about some of the benefits of the fire station and other, other things related to that, I'd like to welcome Chief Robert Hart. Chief. Proper sanitation. Yes. Thank you, sir. Just gonna suppose you can't do that one. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, John. He basically stole my speech, a modern fire station and all of its uh, equipment decontamination. Uh, who knew that they actually manufacture a Scott Pack uh, dishwasher, really? It looks like a dishwasher. You put a Scott Pack in it and it cleans it up. So uh, pretty neat stuff out there on the market for, for our guys to keep them safe. Uh, recently, it's been shown and documented that there's a high risk of cancer. Firefighters are at a very high risk of getting cancer over the general population due in large part to uh, the gear that we wear and our lack of cleaning the gear. So we've invested in this station to purchase modern uh, extractors, washer extractors. It's just a big commercial washing machine that cleans up our gear. And then we have dryers to make sure that the gear is properly dried. And the station has been designed with all sorts of air uh, locks and air vapor barriers and uh, just 
everything that we don't currently have storage modern equipment proper space if anybody's been in our current uh, stations you'll see the fire trucks are really jammed in there you can hardly open up the door so this place will be much uh, much easier to work in operate in keep our guys safe it's also has some built-in training uh like some a manhole and a, a bailout window all the stuff that the guys trained on this building before it was torn down so we can do that right in house so we're very excited for a new modern station we really appreciate everyone involved uh, and this goes back for years i believe selectman charter will have some words on the history but i'd like to a special shout out to bob craig retired chief uh, he put in many 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 hours And we can't forget his deputy, Judy Craig, his wife. Uh, she, uh, she put in many hours as well. So it's really a community effort. Uh, you know, John really drove the effort to get this, uh, the community behind us. So we thank to John Mangerari, our town manager, and his vision and the Board of Selectmen. So thank you, everybody. And we're very excited to have this new station built. So appreciate your support. Thank you, Chief Hart. I'd like to welcome uh, Board of Selectmen member, Dean Charter. Just try to stay close to the podium so that one gets you. Thank you. So this morning I uh, started scratching down a few notes and I think it's important to, to look at the history of the fire department and the history of the town. Hopefully I haven't missed anyone, but I'm, I'm thinking about some of our former fire chiefs, uh, Stuart McGregor, Robert Barry, Malcolm McGregor, Robert, our own Robert Craig, Patrick Futterer, and now Chief Robert Hart. Um, Every one of these individuals put a lot of time and dedication into the fire department and all of our safety. Um, thinking of all the improvements that I've seen in fire and EMS in my lifetime, um, it's just amazing. And it, it mirrors the growth of the town of Acton as well. You know, we started out with just the three little village fire stations, which when I was growing up was, was strictly volunteer department. Now it's moved to professional. Uh, the growth of the town uh, has just marched onward and really necessitated this new station. Getting the station built was uh, one of the main planks of my platform when I ran for selectman. Mostly out of frustration from all the years I was working for the town and so many stops and starts we had to put a new station somewhere in North Acton. I'm really glad that we're finally seeing it done need to recognize the support of the community that this wouldn't have happened. Uh, people put in a huge amount of time, uh, not only town employees and fire department employees, but just the general public and the citizens. Uh, I see Sahana Pro hit here. She was a tremendous help to us and uh, gave us great intro into the Canterbury Hill neighborhood. And people started to realize how poorly served they were in this part of the town. Uh, Mike Gowing has also been a great deal of help uh, in the North Acton community. So it, it was really a community effort. The, uh, I think the other, the other important thing is the history of the Board of Selectmen over the years to support this. Uh, Joan Gardner certainly was in on the, uh, on the beginning of this back in the 70s. I think she's gonna speak in a moment. Um, and then many of the other people that I worked with, DeRay Hunter, who's passed on, um, and the, the number of times and meetings that we've had, and it's just so great to actually see dirt getting moved. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, well, thanks for those remarks. I, I, uh, Joan Gardner has asked to make a special uh, appearance and, and a, few, a few words as well, one of our board members. Joan Gardner. You could come closer to this mic. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad to see everyone here this morning. 
I remember the town meeting when we went from call to permanent and Bill Sawyer stood up at town meeting and said, four men left the station on the fire engine and stopped on the way to pick up a fifth and everybody laughed and he didn't understand why. <laughs> And my first experience with the fire department was in West Acton. We used to vote in the fire station and it was for the sales tax and there was a great long line like there has been this week. And they wrapped us around the fire engine and shut the door. <laughs> I wasn't sure we'd be able to get out. But I was on the board of selectmen when we bought the land down here and recognized the growth along 2A. So I'm very pleased to be here today and celebrate this groundbreaking with everyone. As mentioned, we got great support from our community and our leadership of our Board of Selectmen. And as always, we have a lot of great support from our friends uh, with our state delegation. So I'd like to welcome uh, Senator Eldridge, uh, who's here today joining us. Good morning, Senator. Thank you so much, John, and good morning, everyone. And this is just a wonderful day that, that has come. And I just want to thank all the stakeholders uh, that have been involved. Uh, congratulate Chief Hart, um, his senior team, and uh, wonderful for all the Acton firefighters to have another uh, station here in Acton. Obviously, we've seen the incredible growth here in Acton. And um, one of the things that I remember very vividly uh, being presented at town meeting and many of the Board of Selectmen meetings is is the time it was taking to get fire trucks out to North Acton to respond to fires, to medical emergencies, and how critical it is to make sure uh, that firefighters, EMS, are able to respond as quickly as possible uh, to every part of Acton. And I know that's something that many residents in North Acton uh, had talked to municipal officials, talked to legislators about. So this would make a really critical difference. I think the other thing is paying respect to our first responders, paying respect to our firefighters. Part of that is making sure that they have 21st century uh, best facilities, best technology to best able to do their jobs to save people's lives. So um, this is really critical to have this fire station here. I wanna congratulate uh, the North Acton uh, uh, Fire Station Building Committee, uh, the Acton Board of Selectmen. You have leaders like Dean Charter, like Jordan Gardner, um, that have been advocating for this for, for quite some time. And I also want to thank John Mangiarotti for his work on this. And off, also, um, great to see former Chief Craig. Um, he was uh, my chief when, when uh, I was first elected, and that was something I remember we were talking about this back then, um, as well as former uh, town manager Steve Ledoux, who did a tremendous amount of work on this as well. And I say that because um, it took a special act of the legislature to to sell this land that, that is, as Chief Hart uh, mentioned, was owned by the Division of Fish and Wildlife. So there was a Division of Fish and Wildlife facility here that had been closed down many years ago. And so we worked closely uh, with the town to, to sell, sell this land to the town um, to make sure that it was gonna be overseen by, by the town. And at the time, um, as I was just saying to Chief Hart, this land was originally supposed to be, I think the new, new offices or new headquarters for the Acton Recreation Department, but with the shift of the Recreation Department to Audubon Hill um, and a lot of great work by so many important folks and dedicated volunteers uh, like uh, Sahana Perweed, is, uh, it was the decision was to build this North Acton fire station here. So I think that was the right decision. Um, was proud to shepherd through that legislation to sell, uh, to sell the fish and wildlife property to the town of Acton uh, so we could be here today. So I wanna thank all the stakeholders for being involved. Um, public safety is such a critical function of every municipal official, every elected official. So congratulations, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I'd like to welcome Representative Tammy Govea. not to make noise with this one. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, I'm really proud and honored to be part of this groundbreaking this morning. 
I am, uh, up until about a month ago, a resident of North Acton. I used to live in the village of Nagog Woods. And so I understand as a past resident what it means to have improved response time for all of the residents who live up and down Route 2A and in the neighborhoods that tuck back behind the route, uh, particularly when you think about the number of people who live in multi-unit housing. And what I see across the state, quite honestly, is that sometimes there's a move among community members to close fire stations, given all of the advances that we have in technology with carbon monoxide monitors and um, other monitors in our homes and just the improvements that we've made to buildings and building safety. And so I'm really incredibly proud of our residents and of all the work that went into coming to this day where we see dirt and a, a building removed so that we can move forward in the next 14 months to have a state-of-the-art um, fire station right here in the north side of our town. And I want to thank Chief Hart and uh, Chief Craig for all the work that you did, all the work that the working group, uh, the, the community meetings that I heard about that Sahana and John Benson, Lauren Rosenzweig Morton and Mike Gowing were also part of. It took a lot of outreach to really help residents understand what the impact would be of having a fire station on the north side. And I can't thank all of you enough for the volunteer time that you put in to talk to our fellow residents about the importance of this station. And as Senator Eldridge pointed out, and as Chief Hart pointed out, also having a state-of-the-art um, fire station to protect our first responders. There's a bill that's been pending up at the State House to remove certain chemicals from the gear that our firefighters wear because of the increased risk of cancer. And there are so many fire stations across the state that don't have the appropriate cleaning equipment. So I'm really uh, proud and excited that we will have that for our first responders here in our town. So just want to thank everybody again. I look forward to coming back for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Hopefully we'll be able to celebrate uh, with the larger community and we'll be past the pandemic. But stay safe, everybody, and wear your masks. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. I'd like to welcome Representative Dancina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. And um, get my. Uh, so my name my name is Dan Cena, and I'm a newly elected state rep here in Acton. Um, and I'm sure probably former Representative Vincent was in, in the works on this project as well. But I just want to say that I, I live in West Acton, right next to the fire station, um, and I see the work that you guys do every every day. And so I just want to thank the fire firefighters. I, I see some of them here today. Um, and um, just a note that North Acton has the worst response time, uh, as we know. Um, and the last fire station was built here in Acton was 1961. And in Acton, that, that population was about 7,000. And right now, our population has grown uh, to over 20,000. Uh, residents, um, at least here in Acton. So I, I just want to say that we at the state level, Senator Eldridge and Representative Govier are here to be supporting our our first responders. And uh, I, it's a, pr a pleasure to be here today. So thank you. Well, thank you, Representative, and thank you to all of our speakers. So uh, we're at a groundbreaking today. So we're uh, shortly going to get starting with uh, ceremonially breaking some ground. Um, I just wanted to mention uh, this is, you know, where it's is October and this is about a 14 month construction project. So uh, we look forward to celebrating again in, in uh, just over a year from now. Uh, There's one thing in this project that I'm really excited about, uh, in addition to the great resource for our community and our department, uh, in terms of historical perspective. Uh, a lot of times in, in the olden days when they built buildings, they would put a time capsule in the cornerstone. And uh, that's something that we're gonna do with this building. So I'm really excited to uh, work with the community, work with the fire department, work with the Board of Selectmen on, on what to include um, on the ribbon cutting when we put this time capsule in the, the front corner of the building. So uh, just a little thing, but something that I uh, wanted to reach out to all of you and know that uh, let us know your ideas and uh, we look forward to making that happen. Um, I'm going to be calling up people to grab a shovel and socially distancely grab a section of dirt to throw ceremoniously. I just wanted to thank Lisa Tommel and Teresa O'Leary for all the work that they've done to put this ceremony together. 
Uh, Austin Siganowitz has done a lot too. Uh, we actually had an event on Friday too um, over at NARA, so they've been doing a lot of coordinating and um, it's, it's worked out really well, so I appreciate their, their efforts. So uh, let's call up people. Um, Chair John Benson, could you please go to the uh, table of shovels? <laughs> um, uh, Jim Snyder Grant, could you please go to the table of shovels? And Joan Gardner, David Martin, Dean, uh, Dean Charter, did I say Dean? No, Dean, come on up, Dean. Uh, Chief Hart, Chief Craig, uh, Sohana as representing the Finance Committee, um, Andrea Ristine, Senator Eldridge, Representative Govea, Representative Cena. And I'm going to go over there too. So uh, we're going to uh, start to work on this project. We're going to do some digging uh, right here. Uh, it'll be a fun thing, and we'll ha have a little photo op, and then we'll close out the ceremony. So thank you all for being here. Um, this is really exciting for the community and, and for all of you, and it's nice to share this, this moment with all of you. So thank you. Thank you.